back to the channel it is that time of year it's warming up and i'm ready to go flipping some nuke punches and i bet y'all are too so i'm gonna go ahead get some stuff set up here in the garage and take y'all out for an awesome day of fishing it's probably it was in like the 40s earlier today but now it's creeping up into the 70s we're gonna go hit a popular bank spot in the area and just kind of flip around this uh wall kind of up in the shallows and see if we can catch some fish with the nuke punch and some of the new Guggen Squad Terminal Tackle. I've actually got their brand new green series weights right here. This is, uh, I believe this is the flipping style, so less, so the shape is a little bit uh, shorter and more dense than maybe the worm weights that they've got as well. In fact, I think I have some of those here. Yeah. So this one right here is their lime green. This is the two piece though. This is a half ounce and you can see they're much more elongated than these flipping weights here. And it's just a different style. One is a little bit more compact to the bait. One is a little bit more elongated, great for the worms. And so I'm gonna break out these flipping weights and more of a, a green pumpkin style color. This is the first time I'm breaking out this specific size and the tube is a little bit larger, but there's definitely some deep water where I'm going and some thick grass, so I want to be able to cut through it. That's why I'm going with a little bit of a heavier weight today rather than my typical, you know, quarter ounce or three-eighth ounce, as well as a flipping hook right here. I'm going to tie a snell knot to that. That's the best knot for the flipping goodies. And I'm going to have those new punches ready in just a moment. I'm going straight braid today, 50 pound with a muscle rod, and this is the SLX XT. Uh, one of my favorites in the SLX line. This is a left-hander. I like those right-handed hook sets. This is the 151 HG, so it's their high gear ratio. And then I've got it outfitted with some Gomexis handles. I figured I would mention it because I always get a lot of questions on that. And the muscle rod is the 7.5 Heavy Extra Fast. So it is ready to rip some lips, I'll tell you that much. But what I'm going to do, since I'm using that heavier weight today, is I'm going to put two weight pegs on the line first, just so I make sure that these, uh, so that heavier weight stays pegged right up against the bait without going all the way up and down the line. You know, oftentimes when you fish a Texas rig, it's best just to not even use a weight peg. You can still get through cover very well. You're using a lighter weight, but when you get into this heavy stuff and you might be, you might have the opportunity to flip some heavier cover, you definitely want to uh, double peg it. That way your weight's not going crazy and you can get through that stuff just a little bit easier. Less snags and all that goodness. So weight pegs first, and then we're gonna toss that weight on there. And now we are going snell knot to the Flipping hook here. I believe this is a 3 aught too. It's a small little dude. Get the job done. Haven't tied the snell in a minute, but the biggest thing is that you want to go down from the top of the hook to start your snell knot. Otherwise, uh, I'll demonstrate here in just a moment. <sighs> that thing is not going nowhere on my snell knots, and especially when I'm flipping. I like to leave a little extra tag end on my line there, just in case it needs to tighten up that much more on a beefy hook set. So I leave maybe a quarter inch or more sometimes. Uh, of the line instead of cutting it nice and flush. So as you get those bites, right, so your weight is going to sit up against the hook right here. As you're going to see though, when you go for a hook set, that weight is actually going to put pressure on the hook and give you a better chance of getting uh, that penetration from the hook and catching that fish. So if you were to rig it from the opposite end, it's going to end up pushing the hook backwards and you're going to miss more fish. So it's important when you tie that snell knot to go through the top of the, the, top of the hook. Now I'm just going to bring down both of my weight pegs and let me grab a new punch real quick. That is the bait of choice for flipping, for punching, all the good stuff. And Green Pumpkin Purple has caught us some mighty big fish over the last year. I think uh, fives, sixes, maybe even Devin's seven pounder was on the Green Pumpkin Purple color. Um, so just a devastating color, no lie. Lastly, with the hook on my flipping setups, I'm not going to go all the way through the plastic like I would on a Texas rig and just leave it almost visible and text pose it back in the bait. I'm just going to simply push it up into the bait and not even go all the way through the body. That's what I have found for flipping works the best. And uh, you'll see a lot of folks doing it just like this. So that hook never even goes all the way through the body until you actually set the hook on that fish. So this is the setup today. Nuke punch. Let's go try and catch some big fish. Made and all that. Early? Yeah. And, uh... Got him. First one. There we go. All right, flipping the nuke. Got this one. That did not take long at all. Green How pumpkin purple. Catch them here? I'm sorry. How often do you actually catch them here? Uh, well, I mean, I I don't make it out this way very often, but uh, the they're here. Duke and bait. It's called a yeah. nuke punch. I've got those too. Yeah. Do you really? <laughs> yes, I used sir. to work in that building, but I never fished here. Where'd you catch them at? Just right along. The Just right along the wall. Yeah. yeah. It's that time of year. Sometimes. 
they're out deep and you can't find them, but I feel like in the spring. You have to throw in a Texas rig. Yeah, I'm doing it's like a it's like a flipping hook though, so a different style and a, and a heavier weight, so I can just get down there real quick. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, same thing. Yeah. I hope you get something bigger. Thank you. Me too. We'll see what happens. <laughs> hey man, good luck. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We'll see if we can get some more. Um, bigger. Okay. We'll take that. Come on up, bud. That one's a little better. <laughs> no, this one's a little bigger. Just a little bit. Little guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hold it? Or no? Okay. Okay, fair enough. One, two, three. Right, <laughs> That's you. awesome. Yeah, of course. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Got lucky. All right, we're going to let him go. See ya. Cruising. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Got him. Fish number three. Okay. Sick. Not long after the move. How am I supposed to get you unhooked if you won't let me? Number three. It's a little guy. Birthday boy's on his way, though. We finna... We finna find them giants. Peace. I think you got them. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> oh, sheesh. <laughs> is he still on? <laughs> That's all you got to do is get lost in conversation because if you focus too hard, you won't catch nothing. Uh, just a few, man. They about this size. Birthday bassin, baby. <laughs> Let's Later, go. Buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Y'all see me working the bottom bait and Chuck's got the swim baits, so they're hitting a little bit of everything today. Oh, good luck, you guys. Hey, thank you so much. People are cool today, minus the one guy telling me it's illegal to fish. You know that's illegal, don't you? No, sir, I did not. <laughs> I see that. I see that. <laughs> oh, no, not the bait. The prize swim bait. Sometimes you got to give it back to the lake. <laughs> that's two since you've been here. It hasn't even been much time at all, dude. All right. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. Are those zooms or are they something else? Let me show the fan what you're rocking. Six cents? Six cents whale. And I saw the whale. Bait. The last one had the chartreuse tail, so this one's just a different color, but it's the same bait. Uh, I dyed the last one. Mmm, I so, see some yellow spots on yeah. that too, so that's a little of the remnants. Yep. <laughs> white. Sick. There you go, y'all. Swim baits wild. in the spring. That's that's a known killer right there. <laughs> You're gonna catch them, that's for sure. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like I told y'all, we're only catching the big ones, so we let that one go quick. I tried to get like a half decent hook set, even though we're under the bridge. Yeah, these flipping hooks, I think they're VMCs, but like there's supposed to be a point right here and it always breaks after just a few oh, fish. Exactly. So it's it's not the best. The, the shelf always breaks and then your baits just fall down. That's not how, that ain't what you want on flipping. That was kind of shocking. I had them. There we go. That's a good one. All right, that's not bad, Chuck. That's probably three. Yeet. That's true. <laughs> Barely caught him, y'all. Jeez. Came back to the starting location. Got some nice two and a half. Get him back. See, you, bud. Fuck off. Well, my last heavy weight. I just got snagged twice back to back and broke the 50 pound braid. Six o'clock, you need to go? Yeah, what's your name? I'm Josh. Josh, nice to meet you, dude. Yeah, we've been uh, picking them off. Have you had any luck or no? Uh, yeah, I've caught like one or two. Cool. This is my buddy Chuck right here too. Yeah, no Dope, man. Hey, tag me, I'll post it on the story. All right, cool. Hope to see you out again. Dude, I broke two of these off, the freaking yeah, yeah. heavy weights. It was back to back too. You know how long it takes to put two weight pegs, <laughs> then do the... <laughs> All right, y'all. Chuck's off. Be sure to get down in those comments. Wish him a happy birthday, man. He's getting out with his lady for dinner, and we are going to rip this nuke around until there is no sunlight left to do so. We uh, moved over to a different area. We're going to go ahead, grab the rod and reel, hit the water, see if we can't link up with a true giant. We know they're here. Just got to put in the time. We paid our dues today. Let's see if we can find them. Go got with me. Training sesh. Yeah. Awesome. Getting any strikes? I caught a few today so far. Yes, sir. Nice. What are, what's in here? Uh, I'm catching bass, uh, okay. hunting for the largemouth bass, but I'm sure there's more. <laughs> Got him, there we go. That's the biggest one of the day, probably. Finally. 
There we go. Alrighty. There we have it. Black and blue. Got a little scar on the face. You've been caught a time or two. Look at you. You just bit a Texas rig not long ago. We are going to get you right back in there in good health. See ya. Don't eat the nuke twice. I know it's tasty, but... Got him. Been a minute. Came off, that's fair. You scared him, buddy. We almost had him. That's a good one. Okay. That's better. That's what we've been looking for. Let's see. Got him. Y'all come on by. I'm just... <laughs> there we go. First solid chunk. That's probably three, three and a half right there, y'all. Not bad at all. Black and blue. The clutter, uh, the clarity is not the finest, so doing the darker nuke punch now. Let's get him back in there. That's exactly what I was looking to hit too, that structure right there. As we were creeping in, I figured there might be some hanging around by it. Yes! Next cast. Let's see if we can make that happen again. I had a strong feeling about this right here, but we're going to work this whole bank. That was a solid one on the nuke right before sunset. You see we switched the color up. Um, if this was any more torn up, I'd go back to the green pumpkin purple, but I would definitely want to use it up, get the most out of it. So I'm still rocking the black and blue. Either one I think is going to get bites. It was just a little bit more windy earlier uh, before Chuck took off and it, it got kind of stained in certain areas. So I made the switch to the darker color just so that it would pop and stand out. Like I say, the one's probably going to work, but you know, once the water starts to look a little bit better as it does now, green pumpkin purple or just those natural greens uh, are probably the way to go. So getting a little grass, it's all part of the business. These are the casts I was looking most forward to. Has to be a quarter pounder with cheese under here. Apparently, maybe I'm not supposed to be walking on this either. Look at that. <laughs> Might go overboard. Oh, something's got it. Oh, you would. Swimming away from the wall. Okay, well, not the first time that's happened today. But something did have it in the prime zone. This, this nuke is getting torn up, but it's still gonna get the job done here. Let's see if I can drag by that one again. That last one, though, was the first indicator that some of these fish are moving up. It was a pre-spawn female. She was plump with eggs, had the bloody tail. That's kind of an indicator there. So we are on the hunt for more big berthas, more shallow fish. If we can find one four or five out of a little pond like this, I'd be very excited. But that was a fantastic urban bass. If it is the biggest of the evening, I'm totally content with it. All right, let's get this line right here. It's going to be good. Nice, much deeper over here. I still got that heavy weight on here. It took me a while to get to the bottom. I'll just work it up the incline here. They're probably hanging out under the cover. This could be good. If I don't get one right here though, I've got another opportunity, almost the same cast on the other side of it here. And then this would just be, that would just be funny. So we're just gonna do it anyways. If I catch one in here, there's only one way it's coming straight up. Okay, let's hit this other line real quick. In fact, let's drop it down right here too, same thing. See if there's anything in the corner before I walk over here and spoil it, cast down the line. Got him. Another good one. Getting the bigger ones now. Okay, that's all right. Ah, nice. Another three plus. Solid. All right. <laughs> there we go. Story time for the fans on the gram. Heck yes, that's a plump female right there. Wowzers. Let's go. See ya. Okay, so now the great debate. What do I want to do? Do I want to go natural green with the green pumpkin purple? Or do I just want to keep sticking with black and blue? Because these last two biggest fish have hit black and blue. So I think I'm just going to stick with it. <laughs> I'm having a blast out here, y'all. This is a fun little urban bank sesh. We've had all kinds of people just cracking up that we're catching fish out here. Literally right in people's backyards too. All these folks got like these nice infinity pools. It's pretty cool. I would be chilling on the patio all day, every day. Let's hunt for another. You got it? Mm. 
had one. I'm just gonna get right back in there, bit it a few times. There's a good chance it may try and eat it again. You know, usually when you hook them, they're kind of like, ah, a little skittish. They wisen up. But if you completely miss them like that, they might just think that they spooked whatever it was away and now it's back. And I don't think we're gonna get lucky a second time, but that is a helpful insight for sure. If you don't hook them, get back in there. If you did hook them, maybe do anyways. <laughs> All right, let's move on. There we go. Another little one. Where's big brother? A uh, handful since y'all went by that last time. Oh, yes, yeah? sir. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Good evening. Got it. No. Wow. These things are running with it. It's so frustrating. We just had the pinchers. Ay, ay, ay. I say frustrating. I'm out here having a great time enjoying a beautiful sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Catching fish, <laughs> but missing a bite is frustrating. <laughs> hey, spoiled. Ooh, the hook's a little bent out. Probably about right. I don't know. We'll go with it. All right, maybe that last one was just a small fish, and that's why we missed it. We're going to find out, though. Cast back in there. No, 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 no. That one felt better. Nice bite. I was running out with it. How am I missing these? He's got it. He's got it. It's a bigger one. Okay, there we go. Maybe the biggest of the day. That's the biggest of the day. Yep. There we go. We found it. Okay, that's what we wanted. Oof. Got him. I think that's the one that just bit it. Got him to come back for it. That's a deal. See ya, bud. Definitely looks a lot bigger in the water. I got some water. I'm catching bass. Oh, it's the bass? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was not bad, right? Or is that? I didn't measure it. If it's uh, if it was a little bit bigger, I sometimes put them on a scale and weigh them just to see. Did you do that? Not this time. I bet you it was probably two and a half or three pounds. I see. It's if, big. Yes. If I find one that's like four or five pounds though, then it's real good. Really? Yes. Sometimes they did like go to the surface. Yes, I've seen some today. Yeah, 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 Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's big ones here. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, y'all. They are hitting the black and blue. I've barely worked any more of the bank since Chuck has left either. <laughs> Just working this so slow. In fact, I was talking to myself about switching to like a spinner bait or a crank bait a little while ago, but just trying to stay true. This was what I came out to do today. And when there was a little bit of breeze earlier, it made it easy to want to switch to a moving bait. And, uh, and I didn't. So, you know, good for me or bad for me. Who knows? Might have missed some fish, but... We know the nuke is gonna work. We're still hunting for like a four to five pound fish or bigger, of course. Like if I, if I could catch a random giant, then I'm all about it, but I'm fully expecting a four to five pounder if we keep this up. Still got about 45 minutes of daylight. I think the sun sets in like 10 minutes. Usually for the GoPro, you got another like half hour after that, like usable light before y'all can't see anymore. So I'm just gonna go till the end, forget about it. Circle this place. Yeah, and I'm happy we opted for the heavy weight today, y'all. I'm able to work a little bit faster. It's really dense. So, like, if you were to go with, like, some lead weights, they'd be so much bigger for the same weight rating. So that's the thing about tungsten. You can really feel the bottom. Like, almost every time it hits the bottom, you got to get used to it because it's almost too sensitive. You almost feel like you get a bite every time it hits the bottom. So you got to... <laughs> oh, speaking of. Ay, yeah, yeah. See, that was probably a mistake, but definitely felt uh, pretty good. So anyways, the tungsten <laughs> is definitely very sensitive. If I'd be going with the quarter ounce, it would be taking me a lot longer to get down to the bottom. And then I'd have to work it that much slower too, because I'd be popping it and it wouldn't fall back down quite as fast. So happy we went with the heavier weight. I'm gonna have to bend this hook back in again. These are some VMCs. Um, even though the weight's Guggen, I haven't got any of the Guggen flipping hooks in just yet. So I'm working with these things. Bend that a little. Perfection. I think we are now on our last black and blue here, so hopefully we can capitalize with it. Otherwise, we're switching to the green pumpkin purple, which uh, I'm not mad about. Got him. Another decent one. Two to three pounds at least, I'd say. Oh, he's fighting for real. Oh, 
him, got him, got him. Sick. Another chunk. Let's go. These fish are fighters. Alrighty then. It's time to go green pumpkin purple on them. Shout out to the Instagram followers, by the way. Y'all getting to see some of these catches ahead of time. I usually have the stories posted uh, in the moment versus the YouTube video, which might be delayed by a day, maybe a week. If you want a little behind the scenes, be sure to check us out over on Instagram. Do you have it? What the? F I wonder if I still have my pinchers. I don't think I do. Oh, I got something. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Come on. Okay, did you come back for it or was that not you that initially bit? Wow, nice. Try and flip them up into the grass, be easy on them. Thank you. Back to the green pumpkin perp. This one's been caught before, you'll notice. That's a deal, man. How many fish have we caught today? And I think this might not have been the initial fish that bit, so I think there's more off of these uh, little columns here. Sheesh. This has probably been my best day of fishing all year as far as like urban, pond hopping, like this madness. Let me fix up old green pumpkin perp and we'll be back in there. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? This hook is just bending out every catch now. It has been jeopardized after the first bend, I guess. And the only problem I've had with the Guggen Squad weights is that I've gotten snagged and lost two of them today. <laughs> but the paint seems to hold up really well. Like, I can still see 5 eighths even after this one. I've been fishing this whole time since uh, Chuck's left. And uh, she's looking dapper. So, mega ups on the Guggen Squad terminal. Don't forget my phone. I've been catching quite a few today. It's been crazy. I've been getting lucky. <laughs> not, not that one. That one was a tiny one. <laughs> Came off.